Python tutorial Artificial Neural Network Regression Supervised deep learning consists of using multi-layered algorithms for finding which class output target data belongs to or predicting its value by mapping its optimal relationship with input predictors data. Main supervised deep learning tasks are classification and regression. This topic is part of Deep Learning Regression with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of the video. Artificial Neural Network for Supervised Deep Learning consists of predicting output target feature by dynamically processing output target and input predictors data through multi-layer network of optimally weighted connection of nodes. Nodes are organized in input, hidden, and output layers. Weight decay L2 or sparsity L1 regularizations are used for lower invariance error search generated by a greater model complexity. For full reference, I recommend that you read Bishop, Neural Networks for Pattern Recognition, published by Oxford University Press in 1995. Artificial Neural Network has an activation function, which describes linear or nonlinear connection between nodes. For supervised deep learning, linear, rectified linear unit, hyperbolic tangent sigmoid, or logistic sigmoid functions are used. As a formula, here we have the example of a linear activation function in which the activation of the hidden layer is equal to that hidden layer. Backward propagation of errors using quasi-Newton, limited memory, Broyden, Fletcher, Goldfrapp, Shano, stochastic gradient descent, or adapted moment estimation or ADAM algorithms consist of finding optimal node connection weights by minimizing information loss measured through sum of square errors. As a formula, we have the minimization of the sum of square errors, in which the sum of square errors are equal to the sum from the first to the last of the differences between output target data minus output target node prediction to the power of 2. Output target node prediction in turn is equal to the sum from the first to the last of the number of hidden nodes of the corresponding hidden output target node connection optimal weights multiplied by the activation function and within it we have the sum from the first to the last of the corresponding hidden input predictor node connection optimal weights multiplied by input predictors data. Notice that within this formula there is the assumption of zero intercept node connection optimal weights. Great, so let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study artificial neural network regression with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within Python PyCharm IDE. The first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we import NumPy SMP, Pandas as PD, and from Scikit-learn we're going to import neural network as ML for machine learning algorithm. The next step is to create the artificial neural network regression data. For that, we create this variable named spy equals to pd or pandas dot read underscore csv, the path to the data file, which is found within data directory, and its name as ann for artificial neural network regression data dot txt. So this is a plain text file with dot csv or comma separated values. Index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So looking at that corresponding data file, we see, as mentioned, a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values, two columns of data, dates, and SPY adjusted. SPY is the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the standard Poor's 500 index and adjust it because it includes adjusted closed prices which were adjusted for dividends and splits. So here we have daily data from the beginning of 2007 to the end of 2015, therefore nine years of data. So going back into the code file, the next step is we're going to create the target and predictor features. For this tutorial as an example, we'll be using as target feature, current day returns, and as predictor features, previous day's returns. So we create first the target feature, which we're going to name RSPY, 
is equal to spy.pct underscore change. And here we have one period. So we'll be calculating the daily arithmetic rate of return. We rename the columns of this variable with the variable name, and then we create our SPY1. That's the predictor feature. And we do so as our SPY.shift1 position, meaning previous day's returns. We rename its column names with the variable name. And then we create a variable here that we're going to name our SPY all, which is going to be a data frame which includes both target and predictor features. Initially equals to our SPY, then we join our SPY1, and last we remove any rows with non-availables with drop NA. The next step is to delimit our data into training and testing ranges. Training range is used for algorithm training and testing range for evaluating its forecasting accuracy. In this tutorial, we'll only be using the training range for the artificial neural network regression fitting. Also, for educational purposes, we'll be using for the training range the first seven years of data and for testing range the last two years of data. Notice that these ranges are not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. So to create these ranges, first we start with the training range, our SPYT, T for training range, and then our SPYF, F for testing range. From our SPY all, we select from the beginning of 2007 to the beginning of 2014, the first seven years of data for the training range, and then from the beginning of 2014 to the beginning of 2016, the last two years of data for the testing range. So now that we have our data ready, we can continue with the artificial neural network regression. The first step is to do its corresponding fitting. So we create this variable here, which we're going to name ANN for artificial neural network, T because we're doing this within the training range, equals to ML, that's the feature from scikit-learn, and its corresponding MLP regressor function. MLP stands for multi-layer perceptron. And as parameters we have hidden underscore layers underscore sizes equals to a tuple of one comma and then space. So this is going to be a single hidden layer corresponding artificial neural network with one node. And then we have activation equals to identity. So this is going to be a linear activation type of function. The solver, this is the first name included within the slides, and we fit this artificial neural network regression. Notice that the corresponding predictor feature is a single feature. Therefore, we need to reshape it, and we do so with numpy.array, reshape, and then the corresponding dimensions, minus 1, 1. And from the training range, our SPYT, we select our SPY1 as that corresponding predictor feature. Comma, the target feature. Also from our SPYT, the training range, we select our SPY. And then we print the results. First, we create a variable here, which we're going to name ANN, ANNT, also for artificial neural network T, for training range W4, the optimal node connection weights, equals to, and here we open brackets and we close them here, and curvy brackets and comma for the next row. So in the first row, we are printing the titles, which are node connection, and then the optimal node connection weight. So we have those corresponding node connections, intercept to hidden, input to hidden, intercept to output, hidden to output. And in the next column, we're going to print those optimal node connection weights. Notice that all of them are printed with NumPy rounded for four decimal places. And for intercept hidden, we get it from ANNT, that previous artificial neural network regression fitting, but intercepts underscore the zero position. With Python notation, this is the first position. And for intercept to output, we get it also from intercepts, but position one with Python notation is the second position. And then the input to hidden, we get it from ANNT dot coefficients or COEFS underscore zeroth position and for hidden to output from that same COEFS but from position number one. And then we proceed to print the results. So we have artificial neural network regression results. First, we print the artificial neural network regression number of layers. This is done with ANNT dot n underscore layers underscore, and then the corresponding artificial neural network regression node connection weights. And it's been printed as a data frame with PD or pandas dot data frame, capital D, capital F of that previously created variable. Excellent. So let's go ahead and run this code file. I've already done it before recording the video tutorial. So the name stored here. So it's just going to go ahead and select it and then click run.
perfect. So that opens the running console and we visualize the results. So first of all, we have the artificial neural network regression results. Notice the number of layers, three, because we have input, hidden and output layers. And then we have the optimal node connection weights being printed below. So we have node connection, intercept to hidden, input to hidden, intercept to output, hidden to output, and the corresponding values for those optimal node connection weights. Excellent. A very important observation is that, as mentioned previously, we have three layers, input, hidden, and output. And when speaking about deep learning regression, it's commonly done with at least two hidden layers. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying artificial neural network regression, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.